The coastal people of Zungilbar Energy depend on their shorelines for their daily nutritional meals, economic benefits, and for future generations. This 38km stretch of the Black Sandy beaches belong to more than 10,000 people from almost 25 different villages. Yolani Amepu has a biology background and is a board member to the Makata Group, an organization formed by villages to protect the critically endangered leatherback turtles. She says the proposed sand mining would destroy natural habitats for marine life, including the people's dependence on the sea. Okay, between the sand um, and, for example, the reefs, when you talk about removing sand, what, that's one. The other thing, um, where do we get our fish? Where do we go fishing and what do we do with that fish? Fish is just one example. We eat it, we sell it. And one of the beautiful things about Papua New Guinea is that um, when you mean not got money, when we don't have money, we have our land to go back to. We have our gardens to go back to. So even Papua New Guinea sits in the Coral Triangle. PNG is one of the six countries with at least 500 different species of reef-building corals. Coral reefs hold diversity of fish. Once the shorelines are impacted from sand mining, people's lives and livelihoods will be directly impacted. This coastline is also a conservative area for leatherback turtles. These beaches are the prime nesting spots for these critically endangered species. And when you look at the coral triangle, they have this little like kind of line that shows you the hot spot. Medang just sit down nicely placed in the coral triangle. Once and then because of we, uh, with the coral triangle initiative, our country took steps to protecting the coral reefs. Not only because they were beautiful and they contribute to things like tourism, because our life and our livelihoods depend on it. But the fish on your coral reefs, they are not, most of them are not born on the coral reef. They're like in what we call nursery habitats. Mama Sakaremol inside little mangrove, inside little seagrass. And where do these uh, mangroves and seagrass put their roots? Right where that shoreline is. So once you get the, um, the places that are impacted um, for sand mining, where the mangroves are, where the seagrass are, fish bleep are coming over. Where did it come from the moon? Where is it coming from? you are directly impacting people's lives and livelihoods. PNG is a party to the Coral Triangle Initiative on Coral Reefs, Fisheries and Food Security in May of 2009. PNG, together with five other countries that make up the initiative, signed the leader's declaration. Presidents and prime ministers formally adopted specific plans for food security and ocean conservation. PNG's involvement in the Coral Triangle Initiative addressed the growing threats to the region's coral reefs, fish and other marine life, including endangered species. And sand mining in Medang would be a direct contradiction to this declaration. They are going to contradict it if they allow sand mining to take place at, in Sungilbar. So this message we want to emphasize it to MRA that Lara Blanc Blue, I'm talking no God, now you like go ahead and I talk yes hello, send mining so you plow all hypocrites. You plow all hypocrites so you like go ahead now. Give him green light or send mining to take place to Sungilba. Martha Luis, National MTV News, Medang.